deeply, deeply missed. <laughs> this is an excellent opportunity for me to be a part of this convention. I used to be the public relations manager for LPRC. So I know that this is a powerhouse. <laughs> Having more than 20 veteran journalists in a room, in my presence, is a huge opportunity and I appreciate it. I see that there are many journalists here that I do not know personally or whom I have heard about. I also know some of them by names and I'm glad that today we can get together in such a unique environment for a very meaningful ceremony. Mr. Mason, the president of AJA and the executive committee members, the board of directors, the different chapter leaders, my sister and Ponce and her husband, Timothy Brown, who took me at 3 a.m. this morning to drive six hours to come here for this occasion. And Ladies and gentlemen, it seems to me that your choice of me to speak on women in politics or the challenges we have been informed by the fact that I am the first and only female senator of my county, Grand Bassa County. The only female senator of 29 men for three years in the Nigerian Senate until 2020 the female political leader of the second largest opposition party, and the female political leader who was in the midst of four male political leaders for four months with plenty of wahala. <laughs> and the chair of the Women Legislative Caucus of Liberia. Please know that I wear these ties proudly, honorably, and humbly. However, I must acknowledge that women are still at a disadvantaged point in political participation in Liberia. Although Liberia was the first African nation to elect the, a female president, and while Liberia currently has a female vice president, all three branches of government remain male dominant. Globally, Liberia is ranked 156 of 162 countries on the Gender Inequality Index and 160 out of 183 placements on the list of women in national parliaments or legislature. Whereas the average percentage of women in national parliaments or legislature is 26% for Sub-Saharan Africa and 17.4% in West Africa. The Liberian woman make up Less than one, less than 11 percent of the whole 103 seats in the legislature. It is also very important to present a more detailed breakdown of the statistics per county and district to have a clear understanding of where we are as a country. Currently, there are only two women in the Liberian Senate out of 30, and nine in the House of Representatives out of 73. In many counties, including Lima, Grand Chile, Maryland, Simon, River G, and Kipman, have not had active female participation in recent years, thereby keeping us further from political participation. We remain grateful to Grand Bassa County and Barbaro County for a 50-50 representation in the Liberian Senate. The more detailed statistics present the following. For Monserrado, we have nine seats, we have 19 seats, one female. For Grand Bassa, we have seven seats, two females. Bond County, nine seats, one female. Lofa County, seven seats, two females. Miami County, seven seats, one female. Bond County, five seats, one female. Riverside, four seats, one female. Barbaro, four seats, 
one female. The rest of the counties have zero. The low representation of women to all levels and across branches of government, especially in the legislature, does not show well for Liberia's promising democracy. Liberia has adopted many institutional and legal frameworks aiming at the advancement of women's political participation and representation. Regarding international obligations, Liberia has ratified the 1979 Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women and its optional protocol. Liberia also adopted the Beijing Declaration and Platform for Action and has ratified the protocol to the African Charter on Human and People's Rights on the Rights of Women in Africa, the Maputo Protocol. As a member of the African Union, Liberia should also implement the AU's gender parity principle, meaning that the state should expand and promote the AU 50-50 principle at national and local levels in collaboration with political parties and national assemblies. Nationally, Article 5 of the Constitution of Liberia makes provision for the national unity of Liberians into one body politics and for the enactment of laws encouraging the participation of all citizens in government. Article 7 also promotes social justice, which is based on the ideas of rights and fairness, and often requires the redistribution and distribution of wealth, privileges, and opportunities. Moreover, the conditions of equality mentioned in this article must first be created to allow women to participate fully in the management of national budgets and national resources to advance Liberia's development. At the same time, national policies have been adapted to address women's political participation and representation. The National Gender Policy 2018 to 2022 includes a session of women's participation and decision-making in governance and promotes affirmative action for women. So too is the national government's pro poor agenda for prosperity and development, 2018 to 2023. Pillow one power to the people seeks to increase political participation of women at the national and local levels to reach a target of 30% by 2023. Liberia's second phase national action plan on women, peace and security, 2018 to 2022, output 3.1, also aims to implement measures to ensure women's young women's and girls' political participation and leadership in elections, political parties, and constitutional and legislative processes. The revised code of conduct for political parties 2020 and the protocol between the National Elections Commission and registered political parties to address violence against women in elections and politics in Liberia signed in 2022 should also provide an enabling environment for women's safe and free participation in political life. In the last 15 years, there have been several unsuccessful attempts at affirmative action for women in politics in Liberia. In the absence of a strong legal framework, the percentage of women in the legislature has fallen from 16% in 2006 to less than 13% in 2012 and 11% in 2014. After falling to only 10% in 2021, 